여자친구야 Today is the day. Today we will be flying to Seoul, South Korea. And I say we because of course I'm going to take you guys along with me. This is going to be such an exciting day and such a long day. It's going to be a 12 hour flight. I don't know how I'm going to survive this, but it has also been a dream of mine for the longest time. So I'm sure that I'm going to have loads and loads of fun. Um, yeah, I have a lot of things to do as well today. I still need to shower, wash my hair, get dressed obviously, do my makeup, pack my final essentials and then head to the airport. So I hope you guys are as excited and as ready as I am. I don't know if I'm ready actually, but you know, I'm just gonna pretend I'm ready. Let's do this guys, let's go to Seoul. Guys, look at this. I was walking towards my suitcase because I needed to put some stuff in and my mom left this little note. She's so cute with money as well. I love her so much. I got changed into my airport outfit, a Lakers look as per usual. And then besides that little super cute note and the money, obviously, my mom also gifted me a new necklace. It is from the same brand as the necklace that she got me previously. If you guys have seen my Ibiza vlogs, then you will know that I forgot my necklace and whilst I was at the airport, I noticed it. So then she bought me this one at Shippool. And now she especially ordered a second one for me with an evil eye so that it can protect me during my trip which is so sweet of her um, and also really special that it is the same brand she ordered it a while ago and it literally arrived today so if that isn't luck that I don't know what is um, let's open it up this box is already so pretty you guys and then ta-da Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Let's put her on right away. Oh, I'm so extremely happy. This is such a cute gift. And I also finished up packing in the meantime. This is what the necklace looks like. And I'm gonna tuck it in. Oh, feel nice and protected already. Um, and yeah, I've just been packing the last things. I noticed that I forgot to bring uh, a lip gloss in my carry-on is really important. Also, I brought some extra lip pencils. This because I have a lot of things to charge and I realized, you know, maybe there aren't enough power outlets and then I have a lot of things in bubble wrap. So like makeup items, for example, uh, but also my perfume, I wrap that in bubble wrap and then in a box because obviously I'm flying for 12 hours. I don't want anything to break. And I got a little souvenir from the Netherlands, a little special something for the people that I'm gonna meet on this trip, Jack from Coco Dive and Joan from Revectin. And they got uh, original Stroopwafels. It's uh, a Dutch cookie and it's very famous here. And then the pattern on the tin is Delft's Blau. And that means Delft's Blue. Um, Delft is a place in the Netherlands and it's super famous for their blue uh, patterns. They have pottery and um, dishes in this pattern and it also has these mills. Um, it's like very old-fashioned but I think they're gonna love it because it's like such an authentic piece of the Netherlands. So um, yeah, that is going in the bubble plastic as well because obviously I don't want these precious cookies to break. And then I think I'm done guys. I think it's time for me to close the suitcase and go to the airport. airport now you guys and oh my goodness I got my Korean ones I'm so happy like I've never had the money in my hands and it's so beautiful way more beautiful than euros I mean look at it 
look at this okay i just can't believe that i actually have that in my hands right now so um i got some money obviously because it's much easier to pay in cash and also i don't know if my credit card is going to work everywhere and i'm like really obnoxious with this kind of stuff so um yeah i just want everything to be prepared so i can be calm and collected and zen um so yeah first thing off my list check that off now i'm just gonna do some minor shopping and then check in my luggage i wanted to get something from miffy for joan um the girl that i'm gonna meet the pr representative of revectin because we have a super fun day planned we're going to the palace together so um i already brought some things from home like some clips for her hair and some nail polish um and also of course those throw baffles but but I think she's really gonna love the Miffy items since Miffy is also really popular in Korea right now. And I found the cutest little Miffy wallet. Look, it's like a wallet keychain, guys. Um, I have to get this for her. <laughs> I'm at Joe and the Juice now and I already checked in my luggage um, the security went really well and the people that work here for Korean Air are so extremely friendly like obviously um, I travel a lot within Europe but it's a totally different vibe they even help you with your luggage and they help you um, find your way they tell you where to go they're all so friendly and so kind and calm as well uh, and it's really quiet at the airport especially at this area because this is for international flights only um, like obviously international flight because nobody is gonna fly within the Netherlands but I mean intercontinental flights so um, I got this I got the spicy tuna from Joe and the Juice and believe it or not I've never had Joe and the Juice so this is really exciting for me okay first bite it's really good and spicy with the jalapenos exactly what I like and I also got a juice I needed this and it's so hot here so this is like really cooling I'm at the perfume shop now and you guys know the drill always spritzing on a fragrance as my pre-travel ritual and obviously still spritzing Chanel blue on my wrists if you have a man in your life guys this is such a nice fragrance so love it and then now on a hunt for my fragrance and that's your hypnotic poison the eau de parfum i found it over there it's really high up it's right here my favorite scent a little for you as well that's my plane guys oh my gosh it's so big and look at that giant miffy guys look how adorable and they have more miffies here oh my goodness now waiting at the gate oh the sunlight hits my eyes and look how beautiful this hello kitty bottle is you guys i'm so happy with it so cheers there's water inside here because obviously gotta stay hydrated and this is such like an easy bottle to just throw in your hand luggage because it's super tiny and i can just like refill it constantly um so yeah waiting here with the last sunshine from the Netherlands on my face it's going to be a little bit cloudy oh my gosh I just dropped my camera bag that's not what I'm supposed to do um, it's supposed to be a little bit cloudy in Seoul but Joan the girl that I'm meeting up with said that the weather is going to be really unpredictable so it might be sunny it might be rainy it might be cloudy we don't know yet um, if I look at my weather app it changes by the hour so I'm just gonna keep manifesting sunshine because I really want to see Seoul in its full spring glory so um yeah let's hope that it doesn't rain all the time oh my gosh i can't believe i'm actually doing this <sighs> it's crazy i started being really interested in korean skincare and k-pop and k-hip-hop in 2019 so that's four years ago already which is so crazy to me to think about that and now i'm finally going and meeting up with all these people and finally seeing for example the temple it's going to be buddha's birthday when i arrive because i arrive tomorrow um, because i will fly the whole night 
Um, and um, that's really special to me because I've also been really interested in Buddhism ever since I can remember. Like even in primary school, I used to be really interested in it and I did presentations on Buddhism. Um, so now I'm finally gonna see all these temples and ugh, I'm getting emotional. It's so special for me, this trip. And even more special that I'm doing it together with you guys because it really feels that way. And by the way, if you see this vein on my forehead, that always happens whenever I'm stressed or really hot and I'm both right now. Uh, so yeah, that's that uh, popping up. I've had that my entire life. I don't know why. <sighs> We're doing this. It's time guys. I'm walking onto the plane. So excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so far everything went well. So I'm in a really positive state of mind. I'm just gonna watch movies, sleep. It's all gonna be fine. Let's unbox all the goodies you get when flying Korean Air. So first of all, water, which I definitely needed. I was so dehydrated, guys. And this headset, which also came with this protective cover, a blanket, so soft, and this pillow, even softer. And then this little pouch, which I was so happy with because inside of it are slippers, which you can use to walk around in on the plane so your socks don't get dirty, and a toothbrush. And then I was just looking for a new series that I hadn't watched to entertain myself on the flight. But actually what entertained me the most were the meals. This is Korean Air's famous build your own bibimbap. And guys, let me tell you, this was the best meal I've ever had on an airplane. It was so good. It came with gochujang sauce and sesame oil. And oh my goodness, these pickles, you guys, were also so amazing. Of course, I had some wine, a little romantic dinner all by myself, some soup. This soup was also really good, soybean paste soup, fruits, obviously, and then coffee as my dessert. And then it was time for my 10-step skincare routine because, yes, guys, even when I'm in the air, I make time to take care of my skin. And, you know, I had 12 hours to do this. I had my time, so I took my time and it was the most refreshing thing ever, especially putting on the mask. And then after putting on my eye patches, it was time for the second meal. And that was breakfast. So I had these scrambled eggs and orange juice, so refreshing. And this sausage was also really, really good. guys i'm at the airport incheon airport and the flight went surprisingly well um there was a seat free in the middle and the person sitting one seat next to that was so extremely sweet it was this man and he went to europe for business and we talked a lot and oh, it was such a good flight i was able to get some hours of sleep in not that many but i also read my book uh, about buddhism and it's buddha's birthday so you know that's amazing and um besides that i just watched young sheldon and a little bit of sky castle um, and million dollar listing and then the 12 hours went by super quickly so now i'm on my way to the baggage claim and uh, my driver is already waiting for me so that's amazing i feel like i'm very calm and collected so uh yeah i'm gonna keep up this energy passport control also went super smoothly i went to the u.s before and that one was horrible they like locked me in a room for a couple of hours and i had to answer all kinds of questions it was one of the most terrifying experiences but here it was super smoothly like literally took less than five minutes so all good oh my gosh guys i have spotted my suitcase i can't believe it's here this quickly can you guys see it like the silver one right there oh my gosh got it now on my way to my driver 
Guys, I just checked into my hotel room and I couldn't be happier. This is exactly what I booked and I was a little bit nervous because you never know if the hotel actually lives up to your expectations, but this is so cool. Okay, so first off, um, we have this little area. I immediately put my shoes off, obviously, and then put my suitcase there. And then you arrive immediately at the bathroom. They have put slippers there, which I'm really happy with. And then here we have this huge bathtub. I love that everything is marble in here. Beautiful details with the rose gold. And then here we have the shower and it's a rain shower, you guys. Oh my gosh, with these gorgeous looking shower amenities. And then these are the beds. So I requested a twin room just because um, I wanna have some extra space. And this is what it looks like. Also, again, the marble details. And then we have a full length mirror here. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, guys. And this marble table, this huge TV and a computer. I read reviews of people saying like, why is there a computer in every single room? But yeah, that's useful, even though I'm probably not gonna use it. But anyways, um, my view is nothing really special. It's just like, I don't know if you guys can even see, it's just an alleyway. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's do a little bed test. Oh, my sunnies. Oh, guys. We made it! And my driver was so sweet, literally the sweetest guy. He carried my suitcase for me. He was so sweet the whole trip and it took like a really long time, like one and a half hours. And also he got me coffee, iced coffee, which I'm really, really happy with because I definitely needed that after the flight. So uh, needless to say, I'm in a really good mood. The hotel even has an Asian style toilet, obviously. So you best believe, I tried it out and I actually really liked it. Maybe that's too much information, but I love these kind of things. Like, why don't we have that in Europe? It's like way cleaner. Um, I want that in my house right now. <laughs> So this is a matcha drip tea. I'm so excited to try this out. And then this is their matcha cream latte, which also looks so good. So as you guys know, today is Buddha's birthday. And so I'm here at the Yokiasa Temple. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's so beautiful. It's lit with all these lanterns. Um, let me show you guys. The Jogyesa Temple is the chief temple of the Jogya Order of Korean Buddhism. This building dates back to the late 14th century and became the order's chief temple in 1936. Today is an extra special day to visit the temple because it was Buddha's birthday. Buddha's birthday is celebrated on the 8th day of the 4th lunar month. On this day, at all the temples in South Korea, you can see all these colorful lanterns, which make the whole place even more magical. I felt so extremely blessed that I was able to experience something like this, a pure moment of gratitude.
and he hates calling me now and guys oh my goodness honestly the rain is such a vibe i thought that i was gonna hate it but it gives such a nice atmosphere especially sitting inside in chung sudang and then seeing all the rain pour down um in that beautiful garden that they have it's so beautiful and so cute ah oh, i'm so in love with seoul already okay guys i'm now I'm gonna remove my makeup, I'm gonna eat something, some cup noodles, and watch Netflix, and then I'm gonna sleep because I'm so tired. Okay, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, and then I hope to see you when I upload my next vlog, bye bye! Love y'all loads! Not not happy.